It's time for lunch break. I'm here with Domenica Catelli, who is the owner of Catelli's Restaurant in California, and she is the author of A Mamalicious, Fresh, Fast Family Food for the Hot Mama in You. How are you? I'm great. Welcome How to are you? Chicago. Oh, it's fantastic to be here. I'm glad you're here because I'm starving. <laughs> well, then we're in the right place. What are we Let's making? Get cooking. We're doing our simple summer pasta, which is in Better Homes and Gardens June edition right now. And I'm right. also going to be at this event this weekend making this pasta so you can right. learn how to do it even more in depth mm -hmm. at the event. So what we're going to do is start out with a little extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put some garlic in there. And you want to give me a little bit of the hot pepper flakes. OK. Throw and, it in? Yes. OK. It's going to give us a nice little heat Kick. on there. Mm -hmm. And oops, I'm gonna get a little bit more olive oil. So we like don't want one, it to a stick. tablespoon or two. Yeah, it's about a tablespoon. Okay. Exactly. And so we're gonna I stir need that my around. Instructions. <laughs> Domenica, I'm not that good at eyeballing. So yeah, you but you did. You got it perfect. So then while that's going, what we don't want to happen is we don't want the garlic to get brown. To so mm -hmm. we're gonna throw in our already grilled off zucchini. We've mm -hmm. got a beautiful green and yellow zucchini. And you were saying that this is perfect because I go to the farmers market and buy all the unnecessary vegetables that I will never use. I don't know how to use them. This, this is, is perfect. Great. You can do them in your pasta and then we started them out over on the Weber grill over mm -hmm. here. And so we get a nice color. You can make a bunch of vegetables for the week. You could utilize them in pasta, on a sandwich, Just as a side dish. On them? Olive oil and salt. That's Olive simple. oil and salt. Yeah. How long do they stay on the grill? It depends on which vegetable you're doing. Okay. With the zucchini, we're looking at about five to seven minutes when okay. they're sliced. And if you, the thinner the slice, the less time that you need. Do you flip them? Absolutely, okay. you flip them. So I started these out. I just flipped them over. So okay. we have that working here. And then we're going to add our sliced up little baby tomatoes. Which okay. is what's going to have to cook, if you will, right? Because the Actually, zucchini's the already ready? The, it is, but the tomatoes can be basically raw. Because okay. they're the little ones, and you get that nice, bright yeah. flavor from them at the end. Mm -hmm. And then we have our chopped up basil and parsley. Okay. It's beautiful. And then we have our pasta already cooked. So at home, you're taking this out of the water, still warm, and then you're going to put it into your pasta dish. And then the other secret for mm -hmm. nice, creamy, delicious pasta is you add a little bit of the pasta water back in. Oh, I got a cup or something, a half yes, a cup. Yes, exactly. Why? So what this does is it pulls the, st the starches in there from the pasta. Okay. And then when you add it back in, it brings the sauce onto the pasta. So you get all those flavors, stay through, and you get this creaminess without adding any sort of cream. Why is it better to put the pasta in there rather than, you know, pour the sauce and the vegetables on top? I like to do it this way because I feel like it gets really tossed in there nice. You get the flavors better. You can also do it in a large bowl if your pan is not big enough to hold your pasta. Mm -hmm. And that then you can do it that way and as well. And that's spaghetti. So, yes, this Perfect. is with spaghetti. You could do it with any shape pasta you want. Mm -hmm. And then we have a nice little treat over here. This is why the mama is hot, because <laughs> you offer some tips on yummy martinis. Yes. This is your twist on the martini. This is, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I always make a seasonal drink. And okay. what I utilize is the fruit and of the season, which right now we're going into berry season. Oh, so this could be made with raspberries. You're picking blackberries, yes, right? Yes, you could definitely do it with raspberries. You could do this with strawberries. Mm -hmm. And then I just give them a quick little muddle. Okay. So that's going to bring out the flavor and the cutler in there as well. Oh, like and this. then we're going to put a little bit of fresh mint in there. Almost and like a mojito. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add some vodka. And so I have some organic spirits here. This is a death store, which is made not far from here, I believe. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of St. Germain. So this is an elderflower liqueur. So it oh. gives this nice little sweetness. So we're not adding any extra sugar. It's just the natural sugar from the fruit and the sweetness that's in the St. Germain. Right. Some ice. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to shake it up. Oh, yes. That sound on a Friday afternoon. Nice. This will <laughs> cool you down for sure. You're going to have a hot and steamy weekend to be cooking in. That's pretty cool. Yes, awesome. but there's lots of cool things to do out there. I chill know. and grill. So you guys will definitely can come out there and chill out with some She's going to be at the Better Homes and Gardens and Weber Chill and Grill Festival in Waveland Park in Chicago. Going to be joined by some of our great and best chefs. And for more information on today's recipe, you can go to our website, WGNTV.com. And you can, you can, uh, is this it? Is this it? This I want to see it. This is it. <gasps> oh my gosh, delicious. That beautiful purple color. And then you can garnish it with blackberries, which you can also put in the freezer. So they're little blackberry popsicles, oh. like in their ice cubes. I mean, I like how you and think, Domenica. A Dominica. little bit of mint. Thank you so much.